and welcome back to my City Skylines Let's Play series. Jack Boone here, we're in the Boone Isles looking at the newly placed high school. Pretty dang cool, if you ask me. Lots of students here getting a higher education. So in today's video we need more people. Our residential demand is pretty dang high. Let's see on the chart here that the green is way up here we have a high demand for residential and we have low happiness so we also need to think about putting some parks in that'll be interesting so to do that we need to expand I think and what we're gonna try to do is continue the same road system we have before Something like that. And this will probably be the last suburb section out this way, I hope. Because so I'd like to have some of this for forestry, especially this section right here. Connect up the corners. And this is going the wrong way. There we go. Ah, I, I destroyed some of the trees there. Um, kind of went against what I say I do, but for the system, for the grid system, it needs to be done. In my opinion. And that should be the end of that. Alright, now we get lots more homes in here. And, um... Let's see here. I'm gonna try to be... Weary... Leery? Eerie? Of... Some of the landscape rocks I don't care so much for. That's gonna have to go anyways, because of the, uh pathway. So that'll have to do for that. Uh, shrubs. Again, not a huge deal. Let's see. We're going to have to put a home here. Once that goes in, I can destroy this power line. Hopefully that'll be connected. I can put a home in there somewhere. Let's see, everything's got water. Awesome. I don't have to worry about that. How is our water doing? Get pretty close to our maximum capacity, so I'm Probably gonna go ahead and turn that out. There we go. And we're getting a few homes in. We haven't got this home yet. One thing I've been wanting to do and I've been forgetting to do is take a look at Gundam's model, which I think is this place. No. This place. No. Where'd it go? I swore it was right. Oh, here it is. There we go. Gundam's models. Yeah, it's pretty busy. Like, there's one job available. Yep. So there's one educated person running it, I guess, and then seven uneducated people working there. Interesting. It's a lot of people. I guess that it is a four by four, so it's one of the bigger buildings. There are smaller buildings you can make. You can make like, well, you can make a one one by one building, but they're really tiny. Kind of cool in some places, but let's see if this is connected. And <laughs> it barely looks like it is. Um, we'll have to test that out. Seems connected. We're kind of running low on electricity, too. So let's turn that on. That's something we're going to have to keep monitoring and keep our eye on. So we got some people moving in. Not a whole lot. This is still... Oh. We've only zoned two industrial areas, huh? Let's see. Let's go... 
Oh crap, they're running out of electricity. Give me a second. We're gonna try to zone this entire suburb in a second. Guessing the wind is changing. And uh, we've lost some um, electricity. Yeah, it's not producing a whole lot. Let's go ahead and bump it up one more. Now we also need to think about parks. So let's take a look at that. We have the one park here, which was, I think, a small park. Pretty sure. Now we have um, up to here, I think, is vanilla. All this stuff is vanilla. I think the Japanese garden is vanilla. Uh, let's go with that. That one's not too bad. It would make sense to kind of place it on the main drag, though. So I might go ahead and extend this. So it needs to be extended anyways, let's go like this far. And then grab our one-way tool. Like so. I'm gonna grab Jeffy's garden. Let's plot it right there so the path will meet up. And let's take a look at what that did. It didn't do a whole lot, which kind of sucks. And it needs water. So let's see how much of an effect that has on um, our money situation. Let's think about some more homes. The demand is going down. Most of these buildings are full. Yeah, so it went down over half. How many homes do we put in? Four or six? Let's try a few more. That's three to the six. I almost want to put one here, but I'm not going to. We'll see how that affects the RCI. We're getting quite a bit of commercial and industrial demand. So, let's go ahead with this. So we had that plotted out before. Pardon me. Blocking the microphone, that's not cool. It's very unprofessional. Oh, we also need to take a look at parks. How big is this thing? Kinda cool. Which way is traffic going? A bit of a big bugger, isn't it? Thinking maybe like that. But I'm going to put it off this road here. Ouch, that broke me. How much was that thing? 4,000. I didn't have a whole lot of money. Oh, and it spins too. That's really cool. Dang it. That's not very far. Let's, uh, drop right. Whoa. Where the heck am I? Where am I? Oh, everything's upgraded. There it is. So, this is actually a mod I'm using to get right down here. I don't know why the original game doesn't have it. I guess because it's kind of glitchy. You can go through things. Wow. A lot of stuff is upgrading. It'd be nice to see some people get on this. Look at all the buildings upgrading. Awesome. This one really helped. Oh man, getting out of his car. I am going to probably get some modded vehicles soon. I'm getting pretty tired of seeing these vanilla vehicles. 
I have to be very careful selecting which ones because... Oh, why well, doesn't have a like... Oh, we don't have... Ooh, crap. We need quite a bit more. I have to be careful which vanilla... Or which um, vehicles I get as it can get a little laggy on the system. Um, a lot of the times... The vehicles will try to like override each other when they're spawning, and I don't know if that causes the most of the issue, but I'm not explaining it entirely well. Um, say there's a base model. Uh, say this guy here. He's whatever, a level three uh, residential. He's one of the wealthier people here. Uh, whenever a new citizen or something comes into the area, into the, the map, and they have a car, they'll generate it based on their wealth and whatnot. Uh, so, <laughs> the parking radius is a little buggy at the moment, but it, it's helping the city a little bit. So, it, when they go to spawn the vehicles in, if there's multiple uh, asseted level 3 vehicles, then it'll be confused as to which one to spawn in, kind of, essentially. So it just becomes a little bit more taxing on your system because it's reading all the mods, determining which one should be spawned in. So it's the same with uh, the um, RCI vehicle or RCI buildings that I was talking about. That uh, if you have multiple ones of the same kind of value, it becomes very confusing on your system which one to uh, have grow. Could you use some more industrial? So let's go ahead and do that. that. Might be a bit much, but we're gonna, we're gonna need it essentially, anyways. We don't need any more commercial. These two got put in. They seem to be providing that itch. Uh, I was being very conscious of not talking when I was clicking at the beginning of this episode. That's probably why I was a little not speaking so much because there was a lot to do at the beginning, but. Um, now that the pace has slowed down a little bit, I should be careful when I speak. Because I notice I'm speaking a lot while I'm clicking, and that's quite annoying and incredibly difficult to uh, edit out. Near impossible. Sometimes, I'll be honest, I don't even try. Because it just it ends up either distorting the, um, the sound of things or... I need more water. Or you end up just losing... Like, um, dropping a little bit of the audio at the beginning or ending, depending on where the, the click is. Oh yeah, we got enough now. Should be good. Let's take a look at the land value. Oh, this area is looking nice. We got this little chunk of the suburb up here. Uh, we got a bit more money now. Um, this is quite a big park. But it would be kind of nice up here. Eesh. Such a big one. What if I put it like... Put it here. It's not bad. 6,000. I want to. Hope this doesn't break us. Should be alright. Cool thing, just cross over this. Part. I should upgrade quite a bit here, and that'll help the industry out. It doesn't actually upgrade the industry, but um, it makes them produce less pollution. If that makes sense. Whoa, there goes a ton of things all at once. This, the number might go down here because we're technically losing citizens. I was going to call them sims. Technically losing citizens, but and this demand's going up because, you know, technically they're not here at the moment. Even though they are, because they're not actually booted out. There's still people there. I should... Yeah, that really did help. Not as much as I hoped, but 
did home. Now I have a lot of modded parks here. Uh, this one doesn't work, right? I think it's this one. No, I think that one might work. Um, perhaps it's a different one that doesn't work properly. I know one of them doesn't work, and it might be this one here. Uh, so I avoid using it. But well, like you know, big expensive parks, we got this one, which you actually don't need to place roadside. You place it wherever you want. We've got different kind of modded parks. This is a beach. It works nice in touristy areas, but it needs the road, which is kind of weird. Several different parking garages, which I like using. They're really cool. This one is one of my favorite. It's just a 2 by 4 parking lot, essentially. I'm thinking about plopping one down, just to boost um, some of the land value. And cars will actually park in it, which is really cool. And then, yeah, we got a few other things. Uh, basketball court, which there's actually an actual basketball court now. This one's a little out of date. Uh, Lake Tian with lights. It's a really big one, really cool one. Modern Art Plaza. We got uh, hot air balloons. <clears throat> Park with Ferris wheel. Apologize, my voice is kind of cut. Nope. Baseball fields, tennis courts, large cinemas, Aqua Fun Park, a water park. Cobblestone Plaza, as well as like, uh, well, I guess I don't have any modded uh, plazas, even though this one should be over in this section. Uh, this is some sports venues. I have a few modded ones in here. Uh, let's see. Track and field, large tennis club made of clay, mini soccer field, large tennis club of grass, tennis club, or equestrian center. There's some tourism stuff. I don't think I have any modded ones of that, but we don't have that unlocked yet. We need 4,200 peoples. Now, we do have a residential demand, so let's think about putting some more homes in. I'm not going to worry about that tree, because it's probably going to get cut down anyways. Um, Actually, let's try. Let's try it like that. Why not? Let's preserve as much of the uh, natural environment as we can. Uh, this one I'm not going to bother with. <laughs> I know I just said that, but... And same with that one. We do need people. It's unfortunate. Um, I think we might be okay like that. I should reduce some of the demand here. I'm not also getting a commercial demand, so... Uh, I don't want to place one there yet, because we're going to probably do a road in here. Try commercial here and here. Let's uh, plot some more trails out. Now this one's not gonna work because well, hold on. Is that uh, not really connected? Is it? That's kind of connected. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like that. I don't know if people are actually. Does someone just use it? Eh. We'll leave it there. I don't know why you use paper. Oh well. Everywhere else is had gravel. I guess it was because of the pavement on the high school. You got a decent amount of money, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start using paved. Cause that's the end goal, anyways. Not that gravel looks bad. Um, not that the paved one's any better, I don't think. But let's just go like that. How much time have we got left in the video? I no way it's time to wrap up. No, 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 no. We still got another like right, eight minutes. Time flies, wow. So we didn't get a whole lot accomplished this episode, did we? Got a lot of more homes put in. Now, I wouldn't mind taking a look at forestry and where we're going to put that. And it's going to be likely this entire section to... Uh, up to and including past the, the power lines here. 
we want to export. We're importing a bit of, we're importing a lot of agriculture, we're also like exporting a lot of agriculture, so. Um. That doesn't make sense to me. Why did. It's weird how the game does that sometimes. But we don't have any industrial demand. I guess we just need more people, sir. So. More people. Well, let's continue kind of with the same scheme we had. Try not to destroy too many trees. Obviously, there's going to be a path there, so I think that's okay. Likely like this. That one we might have to cut shorter. That tree's going to go, so <laughs> let's cut the tree down. Oh, um, so... Evil. Evil. Cutting all the trees down. Might even do another home here, but we'll see. Depends how badly we need the residential. Uh, is it going into nighttime? Probably, but either way, we are likely short on electricity and water. The demand's gonna keep increasing as we're plotting out new buildings, so... It, it's a penny pincher, essentially. I mean, you could over-adjust. But then you're not earning as much an hour. And uh, because I am taking it a bit slower, I figured it's a good way to earn a little extra. Or, like, back up to 14000 and we put these parks in and everything. And that is probably... Well, it's not due to the fact that I'm not speeding it up. Because regardless, you're making the same amount of money. But uh, we're just, you know, taking our time. Not getting too brushed. Are we still... Okay, it's nighttime now. And yeah, we're way, way under. So let's go up to like 76. Yeah, should be okay. Yeah. Now, are we making enough water? Are we making enough water? I think it makes sense. Drag that out a little bit. And increase the water to um, output. Go. A little bit more? No, no. Okay, we're, we're all right. All right, all right. Looks good. Now. Oh, this is a one way street, so they can only force to go that way. That sucks. Hmm. I wanted to show you all. A little bit of the traffic manager mod and how it could benefit our city, but traffic doesn't really actually seem to be an issue. Let's take a look. Yeah, there's no red would be you know a uh, hot spot for traffic, and there's really none. Worst spots right here, and that's to be expected. So I'm not too concerned with that. We're getting a bit of a commercial demand again, and we still have our residential demand. I think all the homes we plotted out have been sprouting up except this one. And, you know, come on, little guy. Everything else is looking pretty good. Under construction, okay, that one just got. So I believe we've got four more there. All right, there's no no need to plot out more at the moment. We need to take a look at commercialism. And how are these guys doing? Oh, we're out of electricity again. 1 to 78. I'm going to give myself that cushion. Oh, wow. Look at our demand. Oh, I got to go up even higher. Even higher. Wow. Okay, now we're doing better. Water's water's getting close. So we bump that up, and we're still making money in the nighttime, which is good. Um, so I'm not going to advance here too much, I don't think, especially with I think the end of the episode coming up here, just a little bit. So we took a look at Gundam's models, which is here. 
Yeah. Oh, what? Edu educated person left? And now it's all filled with uneducated. Huh. Huh. And still got business in the middle of the night. Our city's looking pretty dang cool, if I must say so myself. Let's take a walk. Now this now that we've built a little bit of a city, this is gonna be my favorite part, is walking around in it. Uh, we don't have any huge landmarks or anything like that. Let's slow down the walk speed. But it is uh definitely nice just to kinda stop, take a look around. Enjoy the sights and sounds of the city. See what everybody's up to. Yeah, let's go down this way. Okay. I just gotta click a button and it auto walks for me. Oh, oh, that's the, the name of the street. Ooh, uh, a back alley here. It's late at night, man. That's, that's so scary. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you all are enjoying this series. I wish I could have showed you a bit more of the traffic manager mod this episode. That's really what I wanted to do. But our traffic's really not that bad, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I said that. If you did, please be sure to click that like button. It'll help me out tremendously. Tremendously. Blah, 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 blah. And let me know you all want to see some more Let's Play videos, the City Skylines. I'm really enjoying this. I'm hoping I'm sharing some knowledge with you all. I don't know why this guy's doing yoga in the park in the middle of the night, but hey, reach his own. If you're new to my channel, you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe. You can stay up to date with all the latest videos that way and find out what's going on on all my Let's Play series and any episodes with the Vagabonds. The Seven Days to Die Let's Play series is going strong, and we got a new gameplay session coming up with Stormy, I do believe. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. And I sure, I'm sure we got lots of exciting adventures coming up. I know we go on a quest for some bike parts and whatnot to get some motorcycles up and run, which is really cool. So this has been a very in-depth look at City Skylines. I hope you all learned some things. Be enjoyed yourself. Until next time, as always, have a good one. I just wanted to show you briefly what mods I have installed. City Skylines is similar to games like Banished or SimCity.